on the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. being honored across the country today. He left a mark everywhere he visited, including Central Florida. Dr. King visited Orlando in March of 1964, holding two workshops at Shiloh Baptist Church in downtown Orlando, where he met with locals and listened to problems that were happening in the community at the time. Today, local leaders paid tribute to Dr. King's legacy during the annual Arthur Pappy Kennedy Prayer Breakfast. Yeah, it's named after Orlando's first black city commissioner who died in 2000. News 6's Justin Campbell attended that event and tells us how the civil rights leader is being honored today. Today we heard about similarities between the life and legacy of Dr. King and the work that Commissioner Arthur Pappy Kennedy did right here in Orlando. <music> Orange County Mayor Jerry Deming says people like Dr. Martin Luther King and Commissioner Pappy Kennedy paved the way forward for him. I am standing on the shoulders of the many leaders who fought for equality for all people. Mayor Deming says Commissioner Pappy endured a tragic loss growing up that not many people till this day know about. His parents were robbed and killed on a subway in Pennsylvania when Commissioner Kennedy was about four. He lived with his grandma and eventually went on to be the first black city commissioner in Orlando. What so proudly we held. Mariah Johnson, Pappy's granddaughter, says if he was alive today, he would like to see more done in the community. We can definitely improve on as a community minority people. Um, community building just, you know, just reaching a hand back and bringing our people up. Johnson says especially getting more minorities in fields like STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Being a pioneer, um, they both are similar in that way. Staying true to who they are, um, surrounding themselves with people that believe the same thing that they do, um, and just, you know, speaking to the masses, not keeping it to themselves, but sharing their gift. I would say it's a gift. Um, to the world and just to people everywhere that. As far as her grandfather, she says he and MLK shared similarities. So many people that we talked to said there's still so much work to be done in completing the dream of Dr. King. Reporting here in Orlando, Justin Campbell, Getting Results News 6. Meantime, volunteers are making the holiday a day on, not a day off, with projects all over Orlando. This is at the Northwest Community Center near Mercy Drive. Around 150 volunteers braved the early morning chill for the Seedlings for Civil Rights Service ah, event. Perfect. Volunteers are adding new plants around the community center. They're also mulching and fertilizing. Coordinators say it's for a good cause. I think just, you know, we can all come together and together make a difference in just a few hours and you can take a piece of it home with you by having a tree and, you know, plant it in commemorative remembrance of Dr. Martin Luther King. Coordinators say this helps people plant the seed for giving back to the community. They'll be sprucing up the neighborhood for the next hour or so. You can read all about Dr. King, his legacy and historic visits to Central Florida. Head to our website, clickorlando.com.